Pour cette nouvelle étape scientifique, Cap au large des côtes de la RDC et de l'Angola, avec pour objectif principal de mieux comprendre l'impact du fleuve Congo sur l'océan. Les fleuves étant les principaux affluents de nutriments jusqu'à l'océan, on s'est donc intéressé à comprendre son impact sur le microbiome marin. On a donc cherché à localiser les masses d'eau du fleuve directement dans l'océan pour nous laisser dériver sur elles et effectuer nos prélèvements. The station is particularly exciting. What we're going to be doing is following the plume just outside of the Congo River. From there, we will be looking at the diurnal patterns of the microbial communities. So we'll be sampling um, in the mornings, in the afternoons, and then in the evening, so four times a day. And then from there, we'll be seeing how the microbial community changes at each of those time points throughout the day. We're starting to see a mixed, bright, bright, brackish layer. It's like super not salty, then brackish, mid salinity, down, and then. I think let's keep it consistent. And hopefully, yeah. we haven't deep lost the. It's still like 25 salinity. 25? Yeah. 27. Yeah. Sample at 27. 20, 27, maybe. Yeah. We can send it down again. No, 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 we're good. What's cool about the Tara is that it actually allows for the opportunity to sample in places that are very underexplored. So an area like the mouth of the Congo River with this amount of resources has not quite been looked at just yet. So that would be really cool to see, especially in comparison to the other sites that we're going to be sampling. Um, so this experience has been great. It's unique in the sense that you're with very few people for an extended amount of time, but it's very easy when the people are as dedicated to what you want to do as you are. And it's also very, for me personally, an incredible opportunity. I can't imagine how many people get the chance to do something like what we're doing here. On a le choix, c'est soit attendre 10 minutes que ça sèche, soit passer 10 minutes à les mettre. Toujours, c'est que tu perds 10 minutes. Ou bien, il y a l'autre technique, c'est mettre de l'eau dedans. 